I'm going to casually mention to you something that's very scary indeed and tell you what the alien agenda is. And it's going to sound very familiar. The alien agenda is the complete takeover of this planet, the killing off of five, six to seven eighths of the world's population by the year 2029. The U.S. military has known about this for 45 years. They've told no one. As far as I know, I'm the only person standing before a crowd talking about the alien agenda, secretively. <clears throat> okay. They, back in 1954, I'll give you a quick overview. There was the created 1954 treaty where Eisenhower signed a pact with the known alien species of the time. There were three at the time. And said that we're going to deal in high technology but you can take a few head of cattle and a few human beings and you can experiment on them. It's unthinkable. It's stuff straight out of the Nazi death camps and I'm kidding you not, it's plain BS and it's got to stop. Now, the Great in 1954 treaty would have been violated after after the great firefight, the alien-human war, I am the only living survivor talking about it worldwide at all. The only one. The other two are in nursing homes in Canada, and the Canadian government refuses to allow any U.S. people, including myself, to talk to them because they are afraid of kidnapping. Probably the reason I got shot to pieces and 11 attempts on my life is I am a direct threat to the entire system. The New World Order, the alien agenda is one and the same. It's world takeover and the decimation of the population of this planet. Now I'm going to tell you something a little bit different about the alien species. The bad news ones, there are nine races of alien populations. To look at a human being as a bag of food. They're not cannibals. They don't eat the flesh and the bones and all that kind of stuff. They use the glandular secretions of animals and human beings as a mixture of the vitamins for their food. They get high off of our adrenal gland substances called adrenal chrome. It's, a, it's something like uh, cocaine to them. Now, what can we do about it? We can, right now, if we do nothing, we can do nothing about it, and it will continue to go on. Basically, we'll be led in the dark, and you'll keep seeing more and more people disappear. Right now, there's 100,000 children totally unaccountable through FBI archives, cannot be traced anywhere. They haven't been murdered. Nobody's ever seen them. I think they're hauled underneath in some of these bases, and they are summarily done away with, and they are literally eaten. Now, that is a scary thing indeed. Some, and I'm not asking you to believe me in total. I am asking you to seriously do enough homework that you can go out in through the public record, through the congressional records, find out who's voting for what, and go from there. Do your own program. Do your own agenda. And do your own speaking out. And if enough of us do this, there is some saving grace. However, we don't have a whole heap of time left. Technological governments on this planet are raping the planet. We're, we're going to run out of everything that we need. We're going to pollute everything in sight in the better part of 20 years. Now I know you've heard some poppycock stories. Oh, we're going to run out of coal. We're going to run out of gasoline. We're going to run out of this, that, and the other. And, 25 and 30 year, years ago, you heard all this hogwash. Well, don't believe it. Basically, anything you read in a paper, you should take with a grain of salt. Start reading and what is missing out of the article. Ask yourself, what's missing in this article that I should know? Maybe that's the truth. Fill in the blank spots, so to speak. White copy is only one leg of the triangle. There are two other legs, two other pieces of the puzzle. What we have to do as a group of people, concerned people at that, 
and this group seems to be that, oh, quite that, is we have to assert ourselves in a way that we've never thought possible. Now, I'm not asking you to do what I'm doing. I'm telling you, what I'm doing is very important. Every one of you is equally important. You wouldn't be in this room otherwise. You know, all these other people out here that didn't come to the lecture, they really don't want to hear it. I, uh, yesterday I heard a fellow who says, I'm sorry to say I, I belong to uh, this military organization, that milita militant organization. I, I don't believe in the alien question. I, 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 there's no proof of it. And so I show him an artifact and he says, well, that's nice, and that could be lead. Well, I happen to know this isn't lead. It scratches diamond and it's harder than that. Here's a sapphire that I found when we blew a mountain apart, all these sapphires fell out. <coughs> and sapphire has a hardness of nine right next to the hardness of a diamond. This thing scratches the heck out of it. Just tear it apart. I'll tell you something. This technology is fine and dandy. At the risk of the human race, at the risk of one human life, it is totally worthless. We have to the one beautiful thing about the United States of America is we value a human person's life. The minute we lose it, we are dead meat. It is 